What is up, YouTube? It is Friday the 9th, the 8th, the 11th. And it has already been almost a full week since we've competed at the Muscle Contest Night of Champions. I thought I would get on here, give you guys a bit of an update, what's been going on. The last time I talked to you, I believe, was eating donuts sun or Saturday night after the show, which was amazing, by the way. Those were great. Um, Sunday, Brandon and I just kind of woke up and hung out, and we actually went to breakfast with his daughter and family, and then she had to go back to Arizona, so we got that in before she left. And then Brandon and I had an outing planned that we had been planning for a few months to do the day after the competition. Um, yes, so we went and did that and that was a lot of fun. Uh, but we didn't really, I didn't really film it just because, I don't know, I just wanted to kind of do it and not really film it and half of it I wasn't gonna show you anyways. So, yeah, we drove back Monday and I gotta say that Sunday morning when I woke up, I started feeling a little sick in my like chest. I could just like tell that I have like a weird congestion thing going on and I was hoping it didn't turn into anything, but it's definitely turned into something. I actually took the day off work yesterday because I just felt like garbage and it's just like a phlegmy, chesty cough now so <clears throat> that sucks but I actually was able to like clean my whole house which was nice like everything is cleaned like very well so that was a positive and then so right now we are heading to the grocery store um, to the pharmacy I got a prescription for some antibiotics because it's been about five days and it's not like mellowing out so I figured might as well just go knock it out right now I can't afford to miss the gym I can't afford to miss any more work so I don't really like taking antibiotics but I I got to I got to knock this thing out I'm actually a little surprised I have not gotten sick sooner just because of all the traveling and how much work we're putting in and how little sleep we're getting and just like how hard we're pushing ourselves. I'm actually surprised it's taken me this long to get sick, but should be good to go in a couple days with the antibiotics. Um, I wanted to give you guys like a little recap of muscle contest and I gotta say, I think Brandon will agree with me, it wasn't our favorite show. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, I don't like expect swag or anything, but like it's super nice when a competition like gives you goodie bags of like samples or a t-shirt or like anything like that. And Muscle Contest gave us like nothing. And that surprised me because it has, it is the most expensive show to compete in so far. Like their entry fees are retarded. They're super expensive. So I was totally expecting like a cool swag bag and literally we got nothing. So not that I expect that, but it's always like a cool fun thing. So far, Salt City Showdown at FitCon has been the best. Like we got hooked up. Robin Marr is just one of the best promoters so far that I have encountered with all these competitions. <clears throat> and so that was just a little bit of like a bummer and then the tanning company that they used you guys I did not like um so they made us so we got our first coat Friday night as per usual and then Saturday they were doing the final coat at the venue which is normal um but they made us wear our suit like literally wear our competition suit so you're going in in your like decked out 300 400 500 dollar crystal suit and these girls were coming out and their tanner was just all over it like all over it <clears throat> it was awful 
And so I was like, are you kidding me? I can't believe they were actually doing that, but they made every girl do it. And that's how they sprayed you with your final coat. So luckily all we needed was just like a little baby wipe or like rubbing alcohol and Q-tips and it came off, but it was extremely like tedious to sit there and have to like rub down each rhinestone and like totally wipe everything off the bikini. So like that for me was a little frustrating and I'm honestly convinced that's what got me like, and I feel like I have like a respiratory infection, <clears throat> but because they like sprayed us in a very closed off area. So I feel like it kind of like fucked with me, but that could just be speculation. So I did not appreciate that. Um, I know I didn't spend a lot on my suit. I still spent like $300 on my suit, but I know there are girls out there that spend like five to six to $700 on their suit and like getting spray tanned in it. I did not appreciate that. I can't imagine the other girls did either. Luckily my suit was like a dark blue. Um, but like there were girls with like white suits or like ice blue suits. And I'm like, what do you do? So I didn't appreciate that. And it didn't really matter with the dudes cause they usually just wear underwear and they were good to go just with like underwear. But like, what do we do? <clears throat> so that was dumb. The cool thing about the muscle contest show is they did get us out of there for the night show by 8.30. So I mean, we were done at 8.30 on Saturday. That is insane. There were 200 competitors. I totally expected to be in there a lot longer, um, but we they had us out of there quick. So I do, will say I appreciated that. Um, my theory is that it was Cinco de Mayo and they all wanted to go party. That is my theory, that everyone wanted to get out of there and like go party and enjoy Cinco de Mayo, which I totally get. But it was really nice for us because we were able to go out to eat and we were done eating by like 11.30, which is crazy because sometimes you're not even out of the show until like 11. So that was a lot of fun. Recap, we didn't get the placement we want. I kind of re-watched pre-judging films and I've critiqued myself a little, and so we're just kind of going into the Denver show with those critiques and trying to get better placing. Um, I am gonna compete in novice this time. I am convinced that I'm being overlooked a lot at these shows because novice goes on first, they're able to watch you, then you go on again at open, they're able to see you again, and I'm really, really convinced that like that is playing a part in some girls getting called out above me um, because I'm put next to some of them and I can see physically I don't look bad compared to them. I look good next to them. So, and I've noticed that all the top call out girls are usually all in novice as well. So I'm gonna compete in novice for Denver and we're gonna see how that goes. <clears throat> so yes, we have three weeks, so two weeks until peak week. Um, this week was kind of a bust, you guys. We got back Monday and Tuesday was rough. I was getting sick. We went straight back into a depletion to kind of counteract any of the food that we had eaten. And then Wednesday, Brandon and I cheated on our diets. It's hard, you guys. This is difficult. It is difficult to do like back-to-back -back shows and to keep conditioning and to stay lean and like have a show and then three weeks later have another show and just like, it's hard. It's hard for sure. And you know, normally once the show's done, you're able to like get back on, get back on a little bit of a regimen, but then like if you have a pizza night, it's okay. But like for us, it's not really okay. So, <clears throat> We struggled on Wednesday. We had some pizza. Thursday, we're back on track. That was when I, so yesterday, that was when I took the day off work because I was just dying after that. I was just really sick. And so now it's Friday. I still feel sick. I called in an order to get a prescription for antibiotics. I'm actually at the grocery store slash pharmacy right now. So I'm gonna go inside and grab that and then head to the gym. So I just wanted to update you guys a little bit and let you know Kind of a recap where we're at going into the next show we have a little bit of time so that's exciting 
and yeah, I don't want to ramble too long. It's already been 10 minutes. So I'm going to go get this prescription and then I'm going to head to the gym and we will see what I feel up to doing. What is up, you guys? I am back from the gym. Oh, I feel like I look exhausted. I am so tired and so sick. So I went and picked up my antibiotic prescription. And I'm going to start that tonight. Fun fact, um, if you've been following me for a long time, you know that we love our gummy vitamins. And if you're taking an antibiotics, um, an antibiotic, he said, do not take any sort of vitamins within two hours of taking the antibiotic. So I don't get gummy vitamins for five days, which is really depressing. So I'm starving and we are like out of everything because we got back so late on Monday night that we didn't really do our like real time shopping that we usually do. So we ran out of meat, we ran out of veggies. So I went to the store and I went and bought meat and veggies, but I had to like cook the meat. So I went to Harmon's and I bought a rotisserie chicken. That smells amazing. It's already cooked and I don't even care. So we're gonna eat that. Um, I'm just heating up some veggies right now. That takes like a few minutes, but cooking meat takes like 15 to 20 minutes and I just don't have the patience or the energy. And I'm dying. But <clears throat> I did want to show you guys a really delicious snack that I figured out. Um, it has to do with sugar-free jello. I am going to eat my dinner first and then I'll show you when I prepare it. I've tossed these, a couple of these in the freezer so that they're cold, uh, but I'm excited to show you because it's delicious and super low calorie. Macros are really, really, really good. So I'm just heating, steaming some asparagus and mushrooms. We're gonna throw some garlic powder in there. And oh my God, we went through this. That is like just powder. Do we not have any more? Whoa, we went through that quick. Chopped onion, but it's like, it's powder. I wonder if we have any in like the littler guy. Just like minced. It's too much, it's too much chaos. We're just gonna do the chopped onion powder, I guess. But delicious. We went through that really quickly. So, you guys, I know you've been watching all of our awesome, delicious, like, post-show grocery hauls, and Brandon and I have come to the realization that we really enjoy buying the food, and we're running into the problem of having the food in our house, and, like, when you're doing back-to-back -back shows, you have the drive of that show in a week where you're, like, not going to cheat on your diet. And so in those moments, it's fine. But where we have this four week gap, your brain wants to play tricks on you and think you have four weeks. You can eat a couple of Oreos and some candy. And then both of us have the problem that once you start eating it, we're like, we're screwed. So we um, came to a decision together that we are throwing it all away. Um, so we're not throwing like all of it away. I've already gone through all of our cupboards and I've cleaned all of the junk food out, like all of it. And there was stuff in there from the Ferrigno last year, last November. So it was time. Like you guys, if you've been watching me for a long time, that haul was insane. We had a laundry hamper full of freaking just goodies. I mean, we have more fun buying it than we do eating it. And you, your stomach's tiny, like you can't eat it all. God, I have massive diet face, this is insane. Um, but you can't eat it all, like your stomach is tiny and our stomach, like especially doing back to back to back shows, it's not growing, it's just staying tiny. 
So we really can't eat these foods. So I threw away a lot of stuff, but let me see if I can get some background light going on here. Mm, not really. So I threw away a lot of stuff. And then what we're doing with the rest of it, you guys, is I'm going to take this box to my family. We're gonna do like a Mother's Day thing because it's like Oreos that have been opened, a chocolate bunny that like has a bite out of it, more Oreos, Oreos. There's like a chocolate bar. There's like candies that haven't been eaten. M&Ms that are like resealable. Brandon has like tagalongs in here. Cook candy corn. Biscoff cookies. Um, let's see, peanut butter cups from Trader Joe's. Some gingerbread stuff from Christmas. Uh, we have a whole bag of the Kit Kats. We just bought those. More M&Ms that are resealable. And then there's gingerbread cookies in there. And then this is like all the candy. If you can see how deep this goes oh my god you guys so this is all stuff that just hasn't been opened at all so i am actually going to take this to my parents and see if they want anything and this as well um like my mom my dad my brother and his girlfriend to see if they want anything and then brandon and i are going to like cut this in half and then take it to our work and just kind of like put it out on, in our break rooms and people will fucking love it and they'll eat it up but we have to get it out of our house so there is like nothing we used to have um let me check on my veggies those are getting good we used to have uh this cupboard full so like this was the cupboard and like if someone was over on the couch and we heard this cupboard open, we would be like, what are you doing? <laughs> Get out of the cupboard. Because this is where we had all of the junk food stored. So I've literally 100% cleaned it out. This is hot sauce. This is sugar-free jello, amino acids. We have some baking supplies. I now have powdered peanut butter and rice cakes in here. So like that's it. So this is now just a very healthy, organized cupboard. And then we had the rest of the stuff like up there in that, those two cupboards. And then we had a ton of stuff up there that you were constantly just visually looking at. So the only things that are in there now are like protein cookies, nut butters. So really healthy stuff, but that could potentially still be naughty. So it's still like out of sight. And then we had a ton of stuff like just in here. And now we just have like our Bolero our Bolero, and then we have just protein bars back there. Um, and then these are all of the supplements that we use on a day-to-day -day basis. And then we have our oats, our cream of rice. Um, and then we have all of our like protein pancake mixes down there and like various crackers. And then you guys look at this. This is all of our peanut butters all the way back there. We love our nut butters. So you have all those and then like our Dry storage, we have like honeys, hot sauces, Walden Farms. Um, Brandon loves this stuff. And then so yes. So that is step one, you guys. If you like are noticing that you have a problem with like binge eating any naughty food or anything like that, like you just like can't control yourself, which is kind of something we're running into, just get it out of your house. Just throw it away donate it like I don't feel good throwing all that away that it's a lot of stuff and half of it's not even open so like we're gonna take it to work people will love it um but like donate it throw it away but get it out of your house don't buy it like half the battle is buying it so just don't buy it get it out of your house get it out of your sight so that like you're not even tempted so like if I was gonna binge on food it's gonna be like rice cakes so <sighs> we had to do that it's chaos um but yeah so hashtag no regrets we totally regret buying all that crap no I mean uh, I don't know we're learning doing this many shows back to back we're learning pros and cons what we can do what we can't do we can't go out and just buy all this stuff at the grocery store because then we don't eat it all and then it comes home with us and it's just in our house taunting us so we're learning.
learning experiences. So we're going to give all that away. Maybe I'll show you that on Sunday, but yes. Okay. This is ready to eat. I'm starving. I will show you guys what I make for dessert and then I'm going to close out this video. So I'll see you in a few seconds. Bye. Okay, you guys, I've eaten and I feel so much better about my life. I almost cannot stop eating that rotisserie chicken. I forgot how delicious that is. Like the skin and the seasoning and like the herbs and spices. Oh my God, I could literally... You see it right there. So good. Oh my gosh. I just like peeled off three ounces and like steamed it in with my vegetables and threw some salsa on top and it was amazing. But I want to show you this delicious like concoction I have come across. It is really low calories. So for this whole thing, it's only 120 calories. Macros are pretty, I'm pretty sure they're quite low. But I will show you what I do. Excuse me, I apologize. I am a man. So we have powdered peanut butter. This is the best macroed one I've found. We have a chocolate one and the carbs are like really high, but 1.5 grams of fat, four carbs and six protein for a serving, which is 12 grams. So I have macroed in two servings. <clears throat> So we're going to measure out 24 grams of this stuff, which only comes out to three grams of fat, eight carbs and 12 protein, which is amazing. So it's in there. I'm going to add water. Okay, until it's like a perfect peanut butter consistency. So you really don't have to add a lot of water, just a couple like teaspoons. So it's like peanut butter. And I wanted specifically strawberry sugar-free jello because I feel like strawberry and peanut butter obviously go the best together. So these are like perfectly cold, which is awesome. So sugar-free jello also has really good macros for, yeah, it's a protein. Oh no, this one's a carb, whatever. It's one carb. <coughs> the cherry ones are just a protein. I don't understand that. So I have two macroed in. Do, 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 do. So we're going to do that. We are going to take half of the peanut butter and we're going to put it on top, you guys. Oh my goodness. Like so. We're gonna take the other half. Bam. Put it on top. Mm. Holy mackerel. I can't even handle how delicious this is gonna be. I figured this out last night.
I came across this last night and the only jello we had was cherry. So like peanut butter and cherry is kind of like a super interesting combo. So I was like, I need to go find um, strawberry jello because strawberry and peanut butter obviously go well together. Or I was looking for raspberry, but I only found strawberry. Mm. And every macro counts. So there you have it. How delicious. They're just like little jello cups. And it's pretty much just like a peanut butter jelly treat. It's amazing. Holy crap. So good. So it's only 120 calories for this whole thing. Three fats. I guess it's 10 carbs and 12 grams of protein. It's really easy to macro in um, and I know a lot of women have problems with protein numbers hitting their protein numbers so the powdered peanut butter is great because it is higher in protein and really low in fat so three grams of fat and this is gonna be dessert you guys I'm very excited I will clean my kitchen later it was clean but I am so lazy and so hungry so I'm gonna eat this I'm going to close out the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel. We are three weeks out and I will try to upload some workout footage for you. Um, depending on how I feel, I'm hoping these antibiotics kick in like tonight. <laughs> I don't know if that's possible. It's a five day um, protocol. So I'm hoping they kick in tonight enough so that I feel good enough to lift. But if not, I'm just going to hit cardio up. I just feel so guilty missing the gym because I know I don't have enough like a lot of time. So I'm going to try and upload some workout footage. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.